What is up guys? My name is Snowbreaker and today I'm going to be giving you a basic tutorial on how to make a decent commentary. So first you're going to have to get some good recording software to record your excellent gameplay. So there's many different options in this category and first I'll go over some computer recorders. So probably the most well known is Fraps as many people use it and DX Tory comes in as a close second. The prices of these two are relatively the same and people are discussing constantly whether Fraps or DX Tory is the better of the two. So Camtasia, Bandicam, all these sort of things basically do the same thing as Fraps and DX Tory. They're just cheaper alternatives with less, less options, but they'll do the job relatively well. Now there are a lot of HD PVRs on the market right now, but the one thing you want to keep in mind is that you should record in 720p or more if possible. And this is to make your videos look more professional because no one wants to listen to your voice and watch you play a game for 15 minutes on end if the video looks really low quality and you can barely see what game they're playing if it's really that low quality. So you want your video to look professional because that is the, where the majority of YouTube flocks to watch videos on a daily basis. So now you're going to need a good quality microphone to record your gameplay commentaries. Now if you're going to be doing recording, you're going to want to go with a nice condenser microphone as they reduce a lot of the background noise and they sound great. But really any old gaming headset will do. You can even use the microphone from Rock Band or any of that sort of stuff. But right now I use the condenser microphone, the audio ATR 2500, which is basically a USB microphone. And it's a fraction of the cost of many other condenser microphones that I'm going to list on the screen. And these are basically the top condenser microphones on the market right now and they're really nice and they sound really good but for the basic level youtuber you're not going to need these just be sure to keep them in mind and try and get a good quality microphone for your recordings so now that we're on the subject of audio production you're gonna have to get some good audio software to add your voice on top of your video clips so there aren't many options in this category but the main one you want to consider is using audacity Audacity is basically a free audio editing program that lets you record any audio through your microphone. And you can do a variety of effects to it. The added bonus is that Audacity is free. There's a lot of programs that cost 600 bucks or so that do basically the same thing that Audacity does. Right now I use Adobe Audition to do all my recording through my audio, but really it's basically the same thing. The only reason I use Adobe Audition is is because it came with a bundle that I wanted so it basically looks the same it looks a bit better and you can do a little bit more with it but audacity is a great starting out program and you're not gonna really use the other programs that much more than you would audacity so last but not least you're gonna have to have a relatively good computer now I don't mean you have to go out and buy a super computer or anything but I mean you should play the games that you're playing with relatively no lag I mean, there are more professional YouTubers out there that can play the games a lot smoother than you can. So you have to compete with them in some way or another. And you need you can't compete with them if your videos are really laggy and low quality. You need at least 1 or 2 gigabytes for your computer so you can play games and it's not freezing up constantly. So it's not a big thing and most computers today have at least 1 gigabyte of memory. But it's something to keep in mind prior to your recording. So now that you have all of your equipment, we're going to be going over some quick tips and notes to go over before you start recording your actual gameplay commentary. First of all, you want to remove as much background noise as you can. Now, there's going to be a little bit of background noise no matter what you do, from your computer, from anything. But, I mean, if your dog's barking in the next room, or you can hear people in the background talking, then maybe you should wait until a later point to do your recording. I mean, people don't want to listen to your dog barking the entire video. It gets kind of annoying. So you want to just, before you start recording, you want to remove as much background noise as you can so that it appears more professional in your video. And second, you want to be sure you know what you're talking about before you start recording your video. Now, you don't want an actual script right beside you because when someone's talking, you can tell if they're reading off a script or not. So you want just a short list of notes on what you're going to be covering, and you can expand on there from there. Because you can tell when someone's reading from a script, because it's like, hello, today we are going to be talking about... No, you want to you be very 
fluent and you want to talk with lots of confidence that, and you just don't get that from a script. So you want just a short little set of notes so that you remember what you're talking about throughout the entire video. So now during your recording, you want to talk really confidently. No one wants to hear someone who is unclear about the facts or doesn't isn't sure about themselves. You want to project confidence to your audience because people want to hear a confident person when they're listening to a recording. And this point goes with my second point of you need to get the facts straight and you need to know what you're talking about during the recording. And if you know the facts and you know everything about the topic you're talking about, then it will really help with confidence. And confidence is what you want in a video because it appears professional and that's what you want your video to be. So after you're done your recording, there's going to be a couple more things you're going to have to do before you post it to YouTube to make it a final product. So now you're going to have to edit your video together. And this is a huge part of the recording process because it determines the final quality and how well your video looks in the final product. Now a couple editing programs include Sony Vegas Pro, Adobe Premiere, or After Effects, but you can even use Windows Live Movie Maker when you're just starting out. Now the added bonus of Windows Live Movie Maker is that it's free. Now keeping in mind that it's free, it doesn't do nearly as many of the effects as Adobe After Effects or Sony Vegas. It barely does any effects, but it it has the basic things you need to start making videos at a basic stage, so you're not going to need a $600 program when you're just starting out on YouTube. Maybe once you start to grow and you feel that you need a better editing software, then you can get those, but when you're just starting out, Windows Live Movie Maker is a great option. So now I'm going to go over just a few things to keep in mind when you're making any sort of video game commentary or any type of audio production. So if you're not recording your gameplay live, be sure to split it up into a couple segments, so that way if you mess up on a certain part, you like stutter or anything like that, then you can sort of cut it out and it's not as big of a deal, you don't have to go record the entire thing over again. And this really helps, because if you mess up, it's really frustrating if you have to go record the entire thing again. So just be sure to split it up into parts, so that it's safe and you don't mess up, and you don't have to throw away your hard work. And finally, don't get really angry if people aren't watching your videos. It'll take time for your YouTube audience to grow, so just keep producing quality material and people will start to notice. As long as this is fun for you and you're tr not trying to grow famous or anything like that, if you enjoy doing this because it makes you happy, then people will start to notice and will notice that in your gameplay commentaries. Alright guys, so that's basically all you're going to need to know to produce your first quality gameplay video. So that about wraps up this tutorial. Be sure to hit that like button as it really helps me out a lot. And I hope to see you all next time.